Hello guys, it is Grace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be filming a really, really highly requested one. I've sort of been putting off filming this video because I don't want to come across like braggy, if that makes sense. And I do talk about sort of designer bags and shoes a lot on my channel. And I do wear them a lot in my Instagram pictures. So I think people are interested to see like a video where I just show you... Um, all of my items and talk about them a bit. I always watch Claire Chanel's and I always watch Tamara's and Lydia, and Lydia Millen. It's quite nice to sort of watch a few of these videos to help you pick something and also I get a lot of questions about like, I'm always getting questions on whether this or that pair of shoes are worth buying so I thought if I just put it all into one video I can talk about the shoes and like what I think is good about them and what I think is not so good. I just find this video so fun to watch and I thought maybe you guys would enjoy it as well. I'm going to show you my favourite thing out of the whole collection first. Back to my favourite purchase. Um, it is from Dior. Oh, um, it is from Dior. And I would probably actually say Dior is my favourite high-end brand. I also love the service when you go into the stores. They make a massive fuss of you. I tried on shoes in Chanel before and... Yeah, I guess the service is okay, but it's not as it's not as high end and as much of an experience as shopping at Dior is. At Dior, they say you're with four people. I bought this bag. If you watch my birthday vlog, I bought this bag with. You'll see the bag in a minute. I bought this bag with three other people with me, and they were all offered drinks. Um, when I bought a pair of shoes from there. Um, you sit on the sofa, they bring you over tea, macarons. Honestly, the service in Dior is insane. And not only that, the staff are really nice as well. I never actually did an unboxing on this bag, which I probably should have done. Um, but I guess I'll talk about it a bit in this video. It is the Mini Lady Dior bag in the colour Fard. I have a bit of a story about this bag. So, before I went to buy this bag, I, um, I knew I was going to buy this bag for my birthday as a treat because I had wanted it for the longest time. I don't really think it's the most in fashion bag at the minute, but for me that doesn't matter. I think it's the most beautiful design bag and the color actually, I was, I wanted this color for ages. I went into the shop and they had it and I'd been going back there all summer. All summer I'd been going back in there, back in there to see if they had this color and they didn't. And on my birthday, this colour was in there and I was like oh my god because I thought I had my head set on black so when I went in when I went in there and saw this colour it sort of threw a bit of a spanner in the works because I was like what colour do I go for I bought this one I got home and I was stressing I got home and I was stressing so much about the fact that I bought this one instead of the black and I almost took it back and got the black but now I'm so glad that I kept this colour because black just wouldn't do this bag justice. It's the most feminine, girly bag, and at least now I can wear this over summer as well. This colour goes with so much of my wardrobe as well, because I wear a lot of black and white, so with this bag over the top of it, it just blends so nicely. And I think you can really easily like shift it between summer and winter and spring and autumn. The shade colour is Fard, F-A-R-D. I always get questions on this, actually. Um, but yeah, this will be my wardrobe until I'm like an old lady. So the next shoes I own are also Dior. These are the slingback shoes in nude. I think I got these in August. I bought the bag as a birthday present to myself um, in November. So I've had that for about six months. And then I bought these in like August, September time. And they're already quite worn out. I've worn them to a wedding. I've worn them around London a couple of times. And I've worn them out for dinner, I think. And the heel is a little bit scuffed. I had my eye on these for so long. I just thought they're the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. I loved the bow. I thought they were so girly. I got the low heel so that they'd be more wearable. But part of me wishes I got the higher heeled ones. Because, I don't know, I love the little bow detail on this. It's in the most perfect shade of nude as well. I love these to death. And I cannot wait for lockdown to be over so that I, so that I can wear these with cute dresses over the summer. I think I'm going to show my, my two like purses, wallet things. I think they're really cute and they're a really good way to start your designer collection. And it's something that you always have and use because you're always going to need a wallet or a purse. This is my little YSL card holder. I bought this when I was about 14, I think. This was my first ever designer purchase. I remember doing a little unboxing with it, I think, years ago on this channel. Um, so you might remember that. But it's in this like dusky pink colour. Um, I think I treated myself to it for my birthday. Um, and £150 to me then was like, 
um but i thought 100 i think 150 is quite good for this it's gorgeous like calf skin leather i've probably had this since like 2017 so it's done really well so cute my first ever designer purchase and it was such a big deal to me um so i'll always keep this i think it's really cute and i love the color and the like metal against it i think it's really nice it's beautiful leather and it lasts a lifetime my next little purse is a coin purse from louis vuitton i feel like this is a classic first designer piece it's so wearable it's something that will never go out of fashion it's just really handy to have um if i got a coin in there I have 20p, I'm minted. It's something really good to have. Um, everyone needs a coin purse and it never goes out of fashion. The Louis Vuitton print is so classic. Um, the Louis Vuitton print is so classic. I think they do it in the all of the other textures. I think this was a present for my 16th birthday. I think it's like 120. I think it's like 120 pound, which although it's a coin purse, I don't think it's bad at all for like a first designer piece. I just think this is a classic. Okay, next item is a designer piece that I constantly get questions about. I think this is probably the designer piece I recommend the most out of this video. It's just so wearable and versatile and I think it's really good for the money as well because you can wear it in so many different ways. This is the, this is the Louis Vuitton pochette fleece bag and I got this I bought myself this for my 16th birthday. I've used it so much over the like year and a half that I've had it. It's not got the leather, so it's, it doesn't go brown, so it never looks old or dated. It can always be worn. And it looks like a little envelope, which I find cute. So you open it up, and it's got this gorgeous red colour inside. The reason why I think it's such a good, like, maybe first designer bag to get, or just good for its money, really, is it comes with two purses. It comes with this purse which is so good you can switch this between bags like you don't have to use this with it it just comes out um but it also just sits in there really nicely and then it comes with a card holder thing as well like a long card holder in this red color that one's downstairs somewhere i think this bag is around 650 it might have gone up since i bought it but i definitely bought this for 650 i honestly can't fault this bag i've used it so much it's such a good first it's such a good first bag purchase and you can wear it in loads of different ways so you can completely take oh completely take the strap off and wear it as a clutch you can wear it cross body like just cross body or you can wear it as a little shoulder bag and they're so shoulder bags are so in fashion right now so this is what i do on a night out on a night out i wear a little blazer and i just pop this over my shoulder i just pop it over my shoulder like that and it looks so cute sort of dip in and out of that trend if you want so like whatever's in fashion can't fault this bag and i'd really recommend it if you're looking for a first bag to buy okay next up i'm going to show you an accessory this scarf is from burberry my dad got me this scarf for my i want to say i think he got it for my 15th birthday um and it has my initials on it as well um the tag's actually coming off i love the colorway of this it's a really nice twist on the cat on the classic Burberry colours. This is definitely one to go for if you're a bit more of a girly girl. The Burberry print never goes out of fashion, so if you wanna make a scarf purchase, it's something that will never go out of style, whereas a lot of other pattern scarves will probably go out of style. This one will stand the test, this one will stand the test of time. So I got these shoes for Christmas as a present for my mum and dad. I'm so happy with the ones I picked, but I've honestly worn these to death. Every year Dior do like their christmas packaging and this was the bag that i got it in it's like gold and it's got tigers over it they're not the most hot dior piece right now but for me that doesn't really matter because i wanted something that looked different love the like monochrome color details to them obsessed with the laces as well because i love the way they say you should dior they say christian dior in the back look at the soles they're so cool they're basically designer converse but they're so well made and they look they just look really stylish on. I really don't think you can go wrong with trainers because they're so comfortable and they go with everything as well. Everyone everyone wears trainers with everything these days, like dresses and I think trainers are the way to go. Gold detailing, there's like leather buckles here. You don't, you don't actually tie them up, you just fasten it into this button. They're sort of like kind of elasticated laces. And um, they do them in like velvet as well, which I think is so cute, but I thought they're not gonna be as hard wearing. But I love the pink velvet. They do pink velvet ones, which, oh my God, don't even tempt me. They're so, they're so nice. Next up, we have another present. I got this for my 17th birthday a few months ago. So you would have seen it if you watch, if you watched my birthday haul. I believe it's around like a hundred pounds. It is a good uh, way to start your designer collection. It has the Louis Vuitton print going down it. And I just think it's so nice. It's got, it's got all these details. You can wear it as a headband. You can wrap it around a ponytail. Wear it as a necktie. 
tight around your bag, tight around your waist, tight around your jeans. Honestly, the list goes on on ways you can style this. I haven't got the most wear out of it. I think that's because I got it over the winter time and now it's summer. And even with this jacket I've got on now, it would look cute around my neck, wouldn't it? It could make a little white dress look really cute or a little white top and denim shorts look really cute. So... It can make a little white top and denim shorts look really cute as well. So I think this is a really good thing to add to your collection. Next item is a pair of shoes. I got these nearly two years ago when they first came in fashion. Probably the best purchase I've ever made. They just go with everything. They've lasted me two years. They're honestly the comfiest trainers. The most hard wearing trainers because I've got this thick, thick, thick sole. And when you wash the laces and give them a little bit of a scrub. My mum's got some sort of cleaner that she uses on them. They polish up really well the only thing is the back but you don't really notice that when they're on i've had so much wear out of these and they're just probably the comfiest most wearable trainers i bought my mum a black pair of these for her birthday and i really like the black pair i really like the black ones actually if they're still trendy next year i might treat myself to a black like velvet pair maybe because i think they're really cute definitely 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 recommend these next up we have a pair of shoes um and I did an unboxing on these actually really recently. They are the little um, ballet pumps. I got these on Depop for so cheap. I go into a lot of depth about these um, in the video. I've only actually been able to wear these out a couple of times because his coronavirus came along and now I'm not getting to wear these over the summer, which is a shame. Um, but I think they're so cute. I love the colorway. Love like the look of the black and white against each other and i just think they're so cute they are a little bit scuffed but i talk about that all in the video so if you want to know a bit more about these then watch the video but um, i wanted these for the longest time before i got them so i'm so happy i have them now last item i have is a bit of a regret purchase i was 15 two years ago this just doesn't really fit into my wardrobe very well um and i did actually mention it in a video a couple months ago i want to say and i still get messages about it selling it um I've decided on a price, £650. I'm going to make a note of who messages me on Instagram and then once all of the virus is over and post offices are back to normal and stuff, I'm going to sell this because I just don't... It's really sad because it's a gorgeous bag, but I just don't get the wear out of it. Um, it's the Noe BB, I think. It's a beautiful bag, but I just don't... I just don't get the wear out of it, so... Yeah, I'm going to try and sell this on to a new home. The last two items I'm going to show together because they sort of go hand in hand. I've got a pair of YSL sunglasses. I got these for Christmas. I'm not really sure when. Maybe like two years ago. But I had a fake pair of these off of Shein for like £4. And they, they look basically the exact same. Just they're not as sturdy. I love the shape of them. Um, they're, they're actually like one of the only sunglasses that properly suit me put sunglasses on they cover up my eyebrows so I look really like odd um but these ones they sort of make me look less odd which is nice um <laughs> really good they're kind of like a wardrobe staple for me because they just go with so much I think a good quality pair of sunglasses is definitely like a wardrobe staple and the cheap like sort of trendy ones are nice they don't feel as nice when they're on and I feel like they don't last as long when you buy like cheapy ones I think it's nice to have one sturdy pair of sunglasses and for me, this is them. For one of my birthdays, Grace actually got me. So I normally put these in there to protect them. This was such a cute present. This out of your bag, it just looks really classy. And that's what it looks like. It's a little nice, nice little pouch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what other videos you'd like me to film. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. Mwah.